So I picked up this King Quad 300 in 1994, about three weeks ago. It was in real bad uh, shape. It was missing, I think, two or three out of the four axles, missing or broken. And uh, a lot of the plastics are damaged, the brakes weren't working, but the engine ran great. Um, and so I've been doing some work to bring it back into working order here. So that's just a quick walk around. Uh, I paid about 700 bucks for it. And so far I've done, I've replaced the front, um, or rebuilt the front uh, CV joints on both sides. And it's up on a jack inside. There you go. So you can't see too well in there. Um, I've also, the brakes were gutted, the front brakes were gutted. So I just ordered used uh, brake hub assemblies for the front and I replaced those. And at the same time, I replaced the front wheel bearings. Uh, you can see the winch isn't ideally mounted up here. It really should be down lower. Um, but this kind of works for now and I've kind of touched up the electronics there. I've done a few repairs on some of the plastics. Uh, this rear left fender was the worst. It was all like duct taped together. Um, so I ripped all that off and just put some strapping, metal strapping underneath. And then I can probably build that back up with some fiberglass or something like that. You can see cracks here. So I've just started to work my way around, uh, releasing fasteners, fixing cracks and putting grommets in where I can. What I'm doing right now, I've been watching a lot of Schneid's videos on his King Quad, so uh, that's helped a lot. Um, this right rear wheel, the brakes weren't working, so I dug into that. And at the same time, I found the wheel bearings were also loose. Um, and I did also replace both rear uh, axles. And they're replaced with used ones, um, but I have some kits to rebuild from the parts that I had left over. So we'll see how that goes. One thing that was interesting was that uh, whoever had put rear axles in here before, here you can see this one, it's got like a CV joint or some kind of um, maybe a U joint in there, but it's pretty thick. Uh, you know, you can see this large piece that attaches into the differential there. Um, and then it has this U-joint right here. But let me show you some of the axles it came with, which I think are probably not the correct stock axles. And uh, those had ends that went into the differential like this. So there's a U-joint on it, but it's, you know, just... It's a lot smaller and it didn't look like it was stock. Maybe I'll rebuild these and maybe they're useful for this or maybe they're not. The guy I bought it from said it kept breaking axles, so <laughs> I would imagine he wasn't installing them right. And here you can see, you know, one of those axles that I was working on getting this uh, U-joint out of here. I'm not quite sure, it doesn't have clips in there. It should have clips to remove. Um, but I can't seem to get it apart yet. I'll keep banging on it though. And then while I have the rear off, I said those bearings uh, were broken in the right rear. And so this is the right rear A-arm and I've pulled out the bearings and the spacer. There you can see the spacer. I've cleaned everything up pretty good. Um, and then of course I thought, oh, I had some extra bearings from the front of these ones that I didn't need and I thought oh those will probably fit in the rear they'd use four of the same bearings sets on uh, this whole machine but of course it is a slight bit smaller by about five millimeters than the rear bearings so those don't work the front bearings don't work on the rear um, so I did find these at O'Reilly Prime Line. They're a little expensive, but I have this thing up on a jack and it's taking up garage space. I'd like to get it out. So I went and just bought these from O'Reilly's today. Uh, I was lucky they had them in stock and 
That kit was about 40 bucks. It came with uh, two bearing seals and two bearings for inside here. So I'm not gonna make a video of replacing this because Schneid's got a great one he just put up today. Uh, I'll post a link to that. Um, but I figured I'd show you the quad and what I'm doing. Maybe you guys have some ideas on some of the problems I'm having. One, I've got this oil leak. You can kind of see under here. Um, it's coming from the belly pan somewhere. So I would imagine it's like a, the in that drive shaft seal. I mean, there's tons of seals and stuff in here that could be leaking and there's pretty much oil everywhere. So who knows? Um, but that's one problem I gotta investigate. I think the first thing I'll do is have to wash all this off so I can see where the oil's coming from. The other problems with the front brakes, um, you know, I've replaced the lever and the cylinder up there. I've put new to me brakes on both front wheels and new pads, but they're still not grabbing. I think there's a little ratchet adjustment in there that uh, was kind of tricky. In fact, I must have adjusted it incorrectly. I had to, this drum got stuck on and the wheel was seized up and I had to drill out the back and pound it off. It was a real pain in the ass. Um, so, uh, I mean, those are a couple of problems that I'm dealing with right now. We'll see if we can get the rear brakes working. And then, uh, you know, this front skid plate and plow mount, I'm not sure if that's standard or what. I'd be curious to see how uh, other people are mounting their plows on here. I do have a plow, I'll try and uh, take a video of that. Basically it just hooks in here with a rod and then there's some clips on the back that the plow hooks into. Obviously the winch, you know, you used to raise and lower it, but I'd be curious to see what other people's setups there are. Um, I think that's about it for now. Thanks for all the help with this and uh, I'll let you know if I get anything else fixed.